Welcome back everybody, today we're here to talk about Fear of the Walking Dead Season 5 Episode 5, which looks to be a real good episode, I'm very excited, and we're going to be looking at a sneak peek and the opening minutes for this episode, on top of that we have some news about Fear of the Walking Dead in general, so we're going to discuss all that in this video today, so with that being said, let's get started. So the opening minutes picks up pretty much where Episode 1 ended, um, where Al got knocked out by that CRM member and in this sneak peek it's pretty much like a big chase scene because she wakes up and so remember she's obviously you know a, a few days or a few weeks ahead of, or behind the main group I'd probably say like a few days I don't, I don't think weeks has passed but some time has passed um, you know since episode one because they cleared out all those you know roadblocks and stuff so time some time has passed but here she wakes up and um, she basically just tries to run away from this person the CRM member is burning something or burning a walker um, and I'm not sure why this person is burning the walker this is when Al takes the opportunity to run away I've seen some people say that maybe she's doing some sort of like experiment uh, but I feel like an experiment in the middle of the night just randomly on this walker. That's a little bit odd. So it is kind of odd how she is burning this walker. Um, and I kind of had a, an idea of her possibly knowing about the radiation. And, you know, obviously that would, you know, she, burning them would probably be necessary if they want to completely get, get rid of everything. So maybe she is connected to Karen and knows about the radiation. That would be my guess. But you guys let me know in the comments down below. What do you think is going on here? But yeah, like I mentioned, it's pretty much a big chase scene. The CR I remember knows that Al, um, you know, ran away. So she follows Al. And Al runs into some walkers and she gets in some water and she's in danger. And at the last second, you know, she gets cornered by these walkers and the CR member kills the walkers and then tackles her. So the opening minutes ends with the woman saying, where are they? The CRM woman. And I believe she's saying that because she wants, um, you know, remember Al was recording all those documents and stuff off that dead CRM member. And that's where she got taken away. So... This is interesting because maybe they want to be kept under, you know, like they want to be kept a secret or something or they don't want to be exposed out there because she's after the tapes and obviously those are like papers of maps and stuff. So yeah, I'm assuming, you know, this woman doesn't want Al to know where, you know, their bases are. Maybe on those maps they have multiple bases. I'm pretty sure they do, you know. This seems like a big group with helicopters and you know, they militarize. So I'm pretty sure they have a lot of different, you know, bases around the United States, which is also something I hope we learn about them because that's very interesting. So I'm pretty sure that's why she doesn't want, you know, she wants to destroy the tapes or she doesn't want the tapes or wants to take it away from Al because she knows there's valuable information in there. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's why, you know, she wants them. But with that being said, that was the opening minutes we had for episode 5. But let's move on and talk about the sneak peek because we get to see um, those famous helicopters up front, which is exciting. So the sneak peek for this episode um, is we ha it's daytime here and Al finds the helicopter that we've been seeing. Um, now people have mentioned that this is not Rick's exact helicopter just because it doesn't have an A on it. It could have an A on the other side, so who knows. But again, we see that symbol. So this is obviously the CRM and that's really cool. And if this is the exact helicopter that took Rick away, that would be really awesome. Uh, but even if it's not and if it's a different helicopter, that's also really cool because it kind of shows in perspective how, you know, well this community is doing for themselves you know they have a but they have more than one helicopter you know let alone one helicopter alone in the zombie apocalypse is impressive enough imagine a lot of helicopters you know i remember last season for the walking dead or two seasons ago actually it was season eight i forgot totally, like that was so long ago when we got to see the helicopter for the first time when rick was going to you know the, the junkyard and how crazy that was to see a helicopter in the walking dead so imagine, you know, multiple helicopters, that would be pretty crazy also. But it is daytime, so that obviously means she got away from the CRM woman, um, because this, the opening minutes picked up immediately where it left off from episode 1, but this sneak peek is in the daytime. So I, I do believe she's going to get away um, and probably just hide it out for the night. But we do see at the end that the CRM member comes back. So it's like a big game of, you know, mouse and cat. So we'll see where this goes. Uh, but she gets inside of the helicopter and she's trying to connect to, you know, Morgan and them. She's messing around with it, trying to, you know, get 
any you know if anybody's out there uh, but by the end of it the CRM woman um, you know she points the gun and says get out now I want to talk about this CRM woman for a second because this is really interesting to me and I've seen some people in the walking dead community talk about it but it's how this woman her haircut is definitely similar to Jadis's haircut which when I first heard I was like okay that's pretty cool you know that's a real cool similarity there if it's done on purpose because we can all agree that yeah the haircuts are pretty similar and this woman that's gonna be chasing out throughout this episode uh, she's gonna be very important because they have released you know a lot of promo images of her you know just her just character photos so I, I do think she's gonna be important you know, she's the only C CRM member and the first CRM member that we get to see unmasked. So that's really awesome too. So I do think she's going to be an important character going down the road. And if she is connected to Jadis, how cool would that be? Now we also know that Jadis has a connection with the CRM. Obviously, you know, she called them to come get Rick and she was trading people for food and all this and all that. So she does have connections to them. And remember, she told, like, what if this woman is, like, she was a former junkyard member, a former scavenger? Because remember, in season 9, when Jadis was talking to Gabriel, she she offered Gabriel to go to one of their communities. Remember, she was like, do you want to go there and live a great life? And, you know, what? so there's obviously, like, we've only seen the people, but we haven't actually seen their community yet. But obviously, their communities and their bases, they probably have, like, you know they're probably living pretty good there so I think that's why Jadis offered Gabriel because she liked Gabriel in season 9 to go there obviously Gabriel you know declined but that shows that they have access to possibly going there and living there so maybe you know this woman did that maybe this woman went to go live there and this is her job and maybe she knows Jadis that would be pretty cool um I, I mean I don't it's hard too hard to tell exactly because it could just be a similar haircut but you guys let me know in the comments down below do you think she's connected to Jadis? It is a bit of a coincidence though if it's not connected because they're both, you know, on the same show, you know, similar haircuts, both connected to the same group. I'm kind of leaning more towards the fact that this could be, you know, uh, connected. And, you know, we actually, I mean, who knows? It's hard to tell, you know. Those scavengers, some of their haircuts were similar. You know, Jadis' hair, and that wasn't her natural haircut. Because remember, uh, we saw her natural hair later on. Remember that episode? Um, I think the first time we saw it was when she captured Negan. And she did her hair totally different, and she looked totally different. So that's not her natural hair. Obviously, that was, you know, she was putting on a different persona, pretending to be some garbage lady. And then she was living in that container where... It was all nice and clean and orderly, you know what I mean? So, obviously, these are, I think that was just like a different, you know, she was just putting that on not to get any attraction to maybe this other community. But her real persona is a totally different person. So, maybe the same thing is going on here where this woman is, um, like, maybe, or maybe she was a junkyard person. She had that haircut and then she moved and then she decided to keep it because she liked it for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm kind of leaning more towards the idea that they are connected. But again, you guys let me know in the comments down below what do you think is going on here. But moving on to some other news for Fear the Walking Dead. If you watch The Talking Dead, you know that Talking Dead has been missing for a while because we ha we had it in the premiere. It was it aired after you know the season five premiere, and then it stopped. But we got some news that um, it'll be back for the mid season finale, so that's good. I do like um, Talking Dead. Um, and I think the reason why they stopped it was because of their other shows, which is a shame. You know, I, I do like the combo, you know, Walking Dead, Talking Dead. It's a good match. So, obviously, you know, um, it, it felt weird not having it this season. Hopefully, they don't do that for the main show. Uh, because, I mean, I like Talking Dead. So, we'll see. But that is just some news that it'll be back for the mid-season finale. Next, we got some news about the break between episode 8 and 9. As we know, The Walking Dead always has a break between the mid-season finale and the mid-season premiere. It's usually about two months. But we just got some word that the season 5 break will only be three weeks. Which is interesting and exciting that we don't have to wait that long. Uh, and that's because uh, season 5 started pretty late into the summer. Or not into the summer, but like pretty late compared to uh, what it did last season. And obviously The Walking Dead always airs in October. So if you do the math actually, it's not going to work. If they do it, if they do a two month break, it, it most likely wouldn't work. It's, it'll probably be like really late October. 
Uh, so I think that's why they're doing a three week break. I, that's what I think is happening. It could be story related, but we'll see. Uh, but just wanted to share that information also that the break between the midseason finale and the premiere will only be three weeks. But there you go, guys. That is the news and the information we have for Fear the Walking Dead. I just wanted to make this video talking about the opening minutes and the sneak peek as well as some information we got. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. Again, leave all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, and for more Walking Dead videos just like this, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later.